Yes Scotland was the organisation representing the parties, organisations, and individuals campaigning for a yes vote in the Scottish independence referendum, 2014. It was launched in Edinburgh on May 25, 2012. Yes Scotland's chief executive was Blair Jenkins, and Dennis Carnavon as the chair of its advisory board. Stephen Noon, a long-term employee and policy writer of the SNP, was Yes Scotland's chief strategist. Its principal opponent in the independence campaign was the Better Together campaign. Yes Scotland claimed it was Scotland's largest ever grassroots political campaign. History Yes Scotland officially opened its campaign staff headquarters on November 19, 2012 in Hope Street, Glasgow. Their headquarters were opened to the public. In March 2013, a number of Yes Scotland activists promoted the movement at bedroom tax protests throughout Scotland. Yes Scotland first disclosed its finances in April 2013, revealing it had taken over a £1.6 million in donations. In July 2013, the Sunday Herald reported that there were persistent rumours of funding problems within Yes Scotland, and suggested that these were related to Jacqueline Caldwell and Susan Stewart leaving the campaign organisation. The organisation shared out the women's responsibilities between other employees instead of replacing them. Throughout 2013, Yes Scotland launched specially targeted campaign groups like Veterans for Independence, Farming for Yes and Crofters for Yes. In August 2013, The Telegraph reported that Police Scotland were opening a hacking inquiry in response to a complaint received from the campaign about internal emails that appeared to have been accessed illegitimately and leaked to the media. At the end of 2014, Chief Executive Blair Jenkins sent a message to supporters to join the Scottish National Party the Scottish Greens or the Scottish Socialist Party to ensure that campaigners keep the spirit alive. Participation The campaign is an alliance of the governing Scottish National Party, the Scottish Socialist Party and the Scottish Green Party which voted in October 2012 for full participation in the campaign. The organisation also collaborated with Labour for Independence, an organisation for pro-independence supporters of the Scottish Labour Party. In 2013, Yes Scotland covered the A245 pounds accommodation bill for LFI's first conference. Other groups supporting a Yes vote include Women for Independence and Business for Scotland. Equals advisory board equals donations. In April 2013, the campaign revealed that it had received over a 1.6 million pounds in donations since its launch the preceding May. Roughly a £1.3 million of this came from five donors, including the two Euro Millions winners, Christine and Colin Weir. A contribution to the value of a £342,797 was provided by the Scottish National Party to fund the start-up and staffing costs including the official launch on May 25, 2012. Yes Declaration The campaign aimed to have one million residents of Scotland sign its Yes Declaration a statement of intent to support the independence of Scotland. Signatures could be input electronically by supporters using the campaign's website, and were also collected by grassroots activists who were encouraged to campaign in their local communities and around Scotland at appropriate events. The declaration reads, The Sunday Mail newspaper reported that by July 1, 2012 approximately 22,000 people had signed the declaration and less than 8,000 signed up to the cause on the first day, prompting organizers to remove a counter from their website. The newspaper went further by stating that there was more embarrassment when it emerged they used actors in a picture on the site. In September, Alex Salmond announced that Yes Scotland had gathered over 100,000 signatures for the Yes Declaration. By St Andrew's Day of the same year, a figure had risen to 143,000, to which a Better Together spokesman responded that a euro cubed if they want to sign up enough Scots to win a majority, they will still be chasing signatures in 2018 a euro the total reached 372,103 by May 24, 2013, and 789,191 by June 9, 2014. On the 22nd August 2014, Yes Scotland announced that they had exceeded their target of 1 million signatures. Criticism 
Two weeks after the official launch of the campaign, Scottish Green Party co-leader Patrick Harvey distanced his party from Yes Scotland, saying it was entirely an SNP vehicle. He suggested that could lead to defeat at the referendum in 2014. The party eventually joined the campaign in October 2012. The Guardian also reported that the campaign was forced to restructure its website because it appeared to claim that anyone who followed its Twitter feed a euro including senior BBC journalists and opposition politicians a euro were supporters of independence, and for doctoring stock images of actors by adding yes badges. There has been some criticism over endorsements by high-profile figures who do not reside in Scotland, including Hollywood actor Alan Cumming, James Bond star Sir Sean Connery, and actor Brian Cox. The Yes Scotland launch, which featured actors Alan Cumming and Brian Cox, came under fire from critics who branded it a hand-knitted Hogmanay show. In August 2013, the chief executive of Better Together, Blair McDougall, accused figures within Yes Scotland of copy, in his campaign's slogan a Euro best of both worlds a Euro to reassure voters over independence. In response, a senior SNP source said that it's arrogant of the no campaign to claim ownership of language. Later in August, Yes Scotland filed a police complaint that its internal emails had been accessed illegitimately. Details of the particular email that was accessed were not initially released, but it was later revealed to be correspondence with Dr. Elliot Bulmer in connection with an article he wrote for The Herald in July, A Scottish Constitution to Serve the Commonweal. Their campaign opponents, Better Together, accused Yes Scotland of secretly paying off supposedly impartial experts, and urged an inquiry, as Dr. Bulmer is research director of the Constitutional Commission, a registered charity which states that it has no political alignment. Yes Scotland said the payment was a nominal fee for the considerable time and effort Dr. Bulmer spent on the piece, and its content was not influenced. See also, Better Together, Labour for Independence, Women for Independence, National Collective. References External links, Official Website, Yes Declaration